All new at 7. What if women could delay the onset of menopause for decades? Maybe even not have it at all. That is something a doctor at Yale is studying. Dr. Kutluk Okte is the world's leading expert in fertility preservation and performed the world's first ovarian transplant with a cryopreserved ovarian tissue. His work goes a step further than just freezing eggs. It freezes a portion of the woman's ovarian tissue. It's something that he started doing for young women with cancer to help them get pregnant in the future. In the past 25 years, we've developed these methods for cancer patients who would otherwise be sterilized by cancer treatments. So from these patients, uh, I developed uh, a procedure that enables these tissues to be frozen before cancer treatments. And once they are cured from their disease, the tissues are transplanted back. So in those patients, we've shown how successful the procedure was, uh, how it reversed early menopause and also provided them all the hormones now, the doctor says the eggs in the ovarian tissue provide hormones that naturally dissipate when a woman goes through menopause. Women are born with all the eggs they could have. There are like a million of them at birth. And even though they only ovulate 500 eggs in the entire lifetime, the 99.9% .9 are wasted. They're not used for any purpose. And those 500 eggs they ovulate, they produce all the hormones they need, and yet the ovary is kind of wasteful, that it wastes all the remaining eggs, which we call ovarian reserve. So when women run out of their egg reserve, menopause happens. It's that simple in the natural process. So he says by freezing that reserve tissue and implanting it before menopause starts, it can reintroduce the natural hormones in the body and delay menopause for many years. For most women under age 40, we could get 10 years or more delay in menopause. And in some instances, if you've done this early enough, you could technically eliminate menopause because you're getting 30, 40 years of ovarian function. Now, there are other ways to adjust menopause, like synthetic hormone therapy. The doctor says that was used for a while, but then the study found the risks were higher than the benefits. Currently, for only women in their early ages of menopause, early years of menopause, and only for hot flashes, hormone replacement is occasionally used. But for most women, uh, there's really no um, an easy way of hormone replacement. Uh, for that reason, a woman can have a menopause later, then they could also have the benefits that come with late menopause. Now, the hormones that stop during menopause affect many parts of the body, including the brain, the bones, the skin, and studies have shown when menopause is delayed, it can be beneficial. Studies researching women who naturally experienced it later found that can lessen the risk of things like depression, Alzheimer's disease, cardiovascular disease, bone disease, and even premature death. But there is also an economic impact to menopause as well. A study by the Mayo Clinic found symptoms of menopause can cause $1.8 billion a year in lost work. And when you add the related health care costs, it jumps to $26 billion. And the doctor's procedure has had another effect other than delaying menopause. Many of them tell me uh, that uh, they feel much better on their hormones than what, how they felt on uh, synthetic hormones. And then, yeah, they start ovulating first, and then that induces period, and they start their regular periods. Uh, and up to two-thirds of all these patients worldwide, they spontaneously conceive. So one of the advantages of freezing ovary, ovarian tissue over freezing eggs or embryos is this restores natural fertility. And you don't have to go through IVF and other procedures. Now, Dr. Otai makes it clear his goal is not to cause pregnancy at an unsafe age. Research shows conceiving through egg donation is safe up until age 50. And he says he follows those guidelines. But he does point out how the procedure of freezing ovarian tissue over eggs or embryos could be used for other innovations in fertility. If you look at the overall cost, you know, with ovarian freezing, you don't need to use expensive fertility drugs. And uh, it's a one-hour procedure. So I think overall cost is pretty comparable. And eventually, since this is no longer considered experimental, insurance companies will 
uh, start picking up the cost. Now, right now, not all the eggs in the ovarian tissue transplanted survive the process. It can vary between 40 and 80 percent. The doctor developed a mathematical tool that helps to determine the amount of tissue that needs to be transplanted for a specific patient's body and how many eggs, he says, will survive the process. He says anyone can use it by going to the website fertilitypreservation.org.